So in the Bible study, Armor of God by Priscilla Shire, she lists here um, in week six, the helmet of salvation, some personal affirmations that she's used over herself over the years. She actually explained that she's determined daily to be vigilant and go to war for her mind by rehearsing her spiritual inheritance every chance she gets. I love that. I personally love to do affirmations, but I love to make sure they're biblical. So thank you, Priscilla, for giving us some awesome affirmations that literally come from the Bible. And I, I can show you them here, but basically every single one of these is aligned with a different um, scripture. So she cites where in the Bible it says that this is true of you and me. The key is to connect the dots between just reading it and accepting it as something that's true for you. So that's why each morning I love to do biblical affirmations. I speak it over myself. I say these things. So now I hope you'll say these things with me. You can just listen and then repeat after what I say and say it about yourself. I think this is gonna work, I hope it works. Here's what she says. To start off the benefits and blessings bestowed upon us as redeemed children of God are more numerous than we can count but the following list taken directly from Scripture is surely an impressive sampling I don't recall where I came across this particular list or who gave it to me it's been in my study notes for years I just know I love it and I share it with you, hoping it will give you great confidence and encouragement in Christ. So I'm going to say one and then you repeat it after me, okay? And we're going to go through this whole list. There's a lot here. I am a child of God. I have peace with God. The Holy Spirit lives in me. I have access to God's wisdom. I am helped by God. I am reconciled to God. I am not condemned by God. I am justified. I have Christ's righteousness. I am Christ's ambassador. I am completely forgiven. I am tenderly loved by God. I am the sweet fragrance of Christ to God. I am a temple in which God dwells. I am blameless and beyond reproach. I am the salt of the earth. I am the light of the world. I am a branch on Christ's vine. I am Christ's friend. I am chosen by Christ to bear fruit. I am a joint heir with Christ, sharing his inheritance with him. I am united to the Lord, one spirit with him. I am a member of Christ's body. I am a saint. I am hidden with Christ in God. I am chosen by God, holy and dearly loved. I am a child of the light. I am holy and I share in God's heavenly calling. I am sanctified. I am one of God's living stones being built up in Christ as a spiritual house.
I am a member of a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. I am part of a people for God's own possession and created to sing his praises. I am firmly rooted and built up in Christ. I am born of God and the evil one cannot touch me. I have the mind of Christ. I may approach God with boldness, freedom, and confidence. I have been rescued from Satan's domain and transferred into the kingdom of Christ. I have been made complete in Christ. I have been given a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. I have been given great and precious promises by God. My needs are met by God. I am a princess in God's kingdom. I have been bought with a price and I belong to God. I have been adopted as God's child. I have direct access to God through the Holy Spirit. I am assured that all things are working together for good. I am free from any condemning charges against me. I cannot be separated from the love of God. I have been established, anointed, and sealed by God. I am confident that the good work that God has begun in me will be perfected. I am a citizen of heaven. I am a personal witness of Christ's. I am God's co-worker. I am seated with Christ in the heavenly realm. I am God's workmanship. I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength I need. Okay, thank you so much for joining me on this incredible list. I hope that it goes deep into you, that you absorb it all the way. And um, I hope it blesses you richly. I know it will. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. And if the enemy feels close to you, this is a great short range, short distance tool to use when he's right in your face and you feel like there's no escape. The word of God is living and active. It is powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. And I know that this is going to be probably one of the most powerful things you do for yourself. And we know that for Priscilla Shire, it was something that was very powerful for her too. If you'd like to get access to the full Armor of God Bible study, we have that in a Facebook group by Ambitious Christian Women. I'll put the link below and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye.